Hi there, and welcome to the All About Screen Sharing webinar. My name is Kara. I'm an account manager here at CallBridge, and with me is Sarah. She is our customer success manager. And we are going to go through um, some ways that you can add visuals uh, to your meeting. Um, things like PowerPoint presentations, Excel spreadsheets, um, walking somebody through a website, a training program, really anything that you need to share with people, you can also show them on your screen. So to start, and to give you a, a little bit more from the beginning, I'm gonna go ahead and actually share my screen because you will need to have people join your online meeting in order for them to see uh, what you're sharing. You can do this very easily in a few ways. Number one, you have a online meeting room URL in the top right hand corner of your account um, portal that you'll see right after you log into your uh, CallBridge account. You can copy and paste this and pop it into just about any medium you would like in order to share it with people. So that could be an email, it could be an instant message, um, you could send it on Slack, um, you could even text it to somebody. And as long as they can get to a Chrome browser, they can pop it into a Chrome browser and they can join the visual call as well. You could also um, click on the copy details section over here, that's gonna give you the same information. And you can download apps. We have uh, mobile apps and we have desktop apps in this section that people who don't have access to a Chrome browser can use as well. So once you've gotten people into your meeting, um, you will want to start screen sharing. So you do that just by clicking on the button in the middle of the screen, the share button right here. When you click on the share button, you're gonna get a pop-up. I've got a little picture of it. Um, it's a bit fuzzy, but you should get the idea. And the picture itself is going to ask you if you want to share your entire screen or just one application. So if you choose to share your entire screen, that's like what I'm doing right now. You'll be able to jump from application to application seamlessly without having to stop and restart anything because everything that you're sharing will also be shared with your participants. So that's good and that's also problematic if you haven't closed out the applications that you really don't want to share. Um, for example, if you've got um, Slack running in the background or any instant messaging um, uh, programs or email even, uh, if it pops up notifying you have an email, that's something that will be shared with everybody. So you really do want to log out of everything or disable the notification so they don't interrupt what you're trying to present to people. If you choose to share just a single application, that's great. You will only share what you have uh, brought up in that application. So for example, if you choose Excel, you'll just be walking through a spreadsheet and nobody would be able to see anything that happened in your email application, for example. Um, so each one has its benefits and depending upon the nature of your presentation, um, you'll decide which way is the best for you. Um, multiple people in your call can share their own desktop. So if you have a few different people, they can also share. You can have a couple people going at once, maybe that's helpful to you. Uh, and if you would like to see one person's desktop over another, you're going to pin that person to the middle of the screen. Uh, what that means is you would hover over their, their uh, participant panel and you'll see a little push pin icon. And if you click on that, you'll have uh, stuck them to the middle of the screen. So you'll only see their content. Um, when you want to remove that and, and stop uh, that person from being the center of attention, you'll just turn the push pin off and uh, it will default back to what we call the active talker. So whoever is actively presenting at that time will be the main content um, of, the, of the window that you will see. Um, nothing that you share when you're doing a screen sharing session can be saved. So if you're going through a PowerPoint, this is not something that someone can download just because you're presenting it. Um, you'll need to do that via our file upload, um, which Sarah will go over with you as well. So with that, I'm going to pass it off to Sarah and she will talk to you a little bit about uploading files and our whiteboard capability. Thank you, Cara. So um, I'm gonna go through how you can upload files to 
what is essentially our, our chat on the side. So just first you can, let me share my screen again, see how it's super useful. So I'm gonna share just my Chrome browser with you. Um, so if you go to the menu here, you open your chat and you see we've already got this webinar image file that we had for the beginning. So I click present and everybody can see that. So that is really what we can use for what we call doc sharing. Um, and what it's super easy to, to put a file over there. You can just open up your, um, your finder in your Mac or your, your, your document folder. And then you just pick the file that you'd like to share and drag it into the online, anywhere in the online meeting room. It doesn't matter and it'll upload into the chat. Uh, you can also go here to the chat, click on the three buttons here in the menu, choose upload file. And then from that, you can pick your file that you want to upload and it can be almost any sort of regular file, a, a, um, a Word doc, PowerPoint presentation, most uh, image files like a PNG or a JPEG, uh, an Excel file as well. And, and when you're ready and you, you'd like to present that document for everyone, you just hit present. And you see now that displays in the main window and you can click through it. Um, I would just recommend, this is a really good um, tool to use for smaller meetings. Uh, maybe you're meeting with your team, like five to 10 people and um, you may be sharing the presentation and you want to make sure each of you has a chance to go through the document. Um, and then uh, you can easily slide through. People can download that file as well directly from the chat. Um, and they can also, and, and you as the host can also remove it. So maybe you uploaded the wrong thing, that's no problem. You can, down, you can remove it from there. Someone else uploaded something by mistake, you can remove that really quickly and, and no one will be able to see it anymore. Um, I, why I recommend for smaller meetings is precisely because you've got the shared um, presentation option uh, in a larger meeting, a little bit like a webinar, it wouldn't be the ideal choice. It's better to use screen sharing, which Kara explained before, because um, with that, you're the one in control. Other people can't intervene. So um, that would be the, the better option there. Um, and in addition, what's really great when you're when you're presenting here using the doc sharing feature is it can mark up the file. So maybe um, someone's put here um, a draft of something and you want them to be able to, you can mark it up and go, oh, we haven't finished this. Um, can we get, um, we need to correct the words here. We need to add some extra text. Um, like maybe we can change that image. Um, you can you can do all of that in here and anyone can use this tool. So just again, to find that uh, pen tool, click inside your online meeting room and there's a menu on the left hand side, click on use pen and, and that will allow you, you can, there's a bunch of different things you can do. You can change the color, you can change the thickness, uh, you can also put a shape in there and text. So there's a bunch of different options. And then if you want to make sure you save this so that whoever is going to work on this document later, uh, you just hit save button in the menu on the left. That is going to save that screenshot as a PNG file and you're going to see that in the chat. Anyone can download it. You can even then present that separately. Um, and 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 um, important is all of this, all of these documents you upload are going to be available in what we call our smart summary. So that's the other great thing. You, anything that you work on in here, you don't have to worry about taking your own screenshot. You don't have to worry about um, making sure someone you've made notes on, on your paper and then forget something. 
important. All of it is, is here and saved inside uh, your online meeting room and will be in your smart summary later on. And we'll have surely a webinar about smart summaries uh, at a later date and go into that in more detail, but, but that's a really great feature. Um, and any of the documents it can be also removed by the host uh, in the smart summary as well if you if you needed to do that uh, let's say you have a in a large meeting and you have uh, a couple of people in one room and you've got some others joining remotely uh, and then you wanted to um, allow for people to diff multiple people to present documents or, or screen share uh, in the same room, it's important to note that, that those people can then choose view only. That means they don't cause a disturbance. So um, that's just a tip to be aware of if you've got more than one person in the same room, um, that you can make use of that view only option. Um, and I think that covers everything or most things to do with document sharing. And I'll hand it over to Cara to, to close it up. Yep. Great. Thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you for um, that great walkthrough of the documents and file upload and whiteboard. Um, we hope this was helpful. We hope it was informational and gave you uh, some great hints to share visual content. Um, we hope to put together some additional webinars each month for you to join. And we hope you also have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.